right here. I got a new alarm in the mail the other day, and here it is. It's a European fire sounder. Uh, it's mounted to a little base. You can see the GE logo on it. Go ahead and pop off the base and show you the back of the alarm. This is the GE model number AS363. Runs on 17 to 60 volts DC. Draws 4 to 41 milliamps. It has an ingress protection rating of 21C. It is EN54-3 compliant. And it is a 32 tone fire sounder. Here's your five-way dip switch to control the tones. Your volume potentiometer is right there. Uh, you just take a little tiny flathead screwdriver and place it in there and then obviously turn uh, counterclockwise to turn up the volume and then clockwise to turn the volume down. Uh, this little tab up here is what locks the bit locks the sounder to the base um so there's a you can kind of see that there and this little slightly perforated part here on the base if you knock that out it uh this basically becomes tamper proof so this look so the little uh notch here would lock right onto the base and you would have to remove this little plug and place in a like a little small tool like a screwdriver and um, have to push on it in order to be able to release it but if you keep that in place then you just it just simply stays stays in place you don't really hear much of a click but then to take it off you can just simply tw twist and pop it off here's the terminals on the inside of the alarm um, I'm assuming this fifth this one marked five over here is for grounding don't quote me on that though because I did not get an instruction sheet with this alarm. Uh, have your little wire strip guide and then you've got empty terminals 6, 7, and 8. I'm guessing these may be used or would have I'm guessing these would have um, screws in them if they uh, if this was a, a sounder beacon. Anyway here's your four um main power terminals you have your positive out positive in and then your ne then the negative and this one over here that has the music notes and the little sun um this is also a negative but this controls the stage two tone so basically what you what you would do is if you you have like a two-stage application like say, like say if you're in australia and your place is required to have a two-stage evacuation system what you would do is you would wire both of these uh, negative terminals to separate to separate little switches or relays, and basically whichever relay is open would determine what tone is played on the sounder. So let's say you had let's say you had this set to uh, tone eight, which would be uh, the five, the four, and the three dip switches on. Yes, I know that's weird, but that's just the way that they designed the sounder. Uh, you have five, five, the four, and the three on. You'd ha you'd hear the stage one tone, um, the AS twenty two twenty alert, which is the four hundred twenty hertz slow beep. Um, so that that would be if you if you had power come, or if you have power going through. Terminal three, and then at terminal two, the re the relay to the terminal would be open. Uh, if you switch it if you switch it so that this the relay for this terminal is closed and the relay for this terminal is open, you would hear, I believe, the uh, temporal whoop, and the AS twenty two twenty temporal whoop, which is the five hundred the five hundred to the twelve hundred hertz tone. Anyway, uh, that's enough of me talking. I'll go ahead and wire this up and we can do an all tone test of this alarm.